So you're wondering if you know enough JavaScript to start building React projects, or maybe you've already started with React, but you're really struggling with it. Well, so this video is perfect for you because I'm going to talk about every single JavaScript concept you need to know before learning React so that learning React is going to be as easy and painless as possible. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And I know you don't wanna sit around for the answer. So what you need to do is go down in the description of this video. I'm gonna have a link to the table of contents for my JavaScript Simplified course. Go to the beginner section of that table of contents. Every single video, every single topic in that beginner section of the course, you need to know in order to start working with React. And then in the advanced course, the very first section of that course is also something that you need to know before you start with React. This is going to be a list I constantly keep updated as I update the course. So it's going to be the perfect list of everything you need to know before you get started with React. But in this video, I kind of want to go through some of the most important concepts from that list because there's almost 100 topics in that list. And by far the most important topic you need to understand is some of the basics of JavaScript. I know a lot of people, they start learning JavaScript and you start with some of the basics and you learn them, but then you start building projects and more complex projects and more complex projects. And that's really fun. So you kind of stop focusing on the basics and instead start focusing on projects, which is fine. You learn how to use JavaScript, but you maybe glance over some of those basics and you just kind of assume, okay, this is how things work, but maybe you don't really know why those things work like they do. Well, if you don't have a strong understanding of those basics, you're going to really struggle when you switch over to React because a lot of those things that you kind of take for granted in normal JavaScript are in React, but they're in React in a different way than normal JavaScript. If you don't understand why the things work in JavaScript, you're going to be really confused when you move to React. And some of the most important basics you need to learn are things such as scoping. So like where variables are scoped, you need to learn how callbacks work. And most importantly, you need to learn how passing functions to other functions works. I know you probably already think you understand how passing functions to other functions works because you've done it with event listeners and stuff. But if you don't really truly understand exactly what you're doing and why it works like it does, you're probably going to run into issues when you start using event listeners in React. And that's probably the most common issue I see in React is people using functions inside event listeners the wrong way. So really make sure you understand how passing functions to other functions works. Another thing that's super crucial to React is understanding the difference between a reference and a value. You may know that if you create a const for an object called person, you set that person to like a object that has a name of Kyle, you can actually change the name property of that object to something else like Sally, even though the person object itself is a constant variable that can't change. That's because objects and arrays and other things inside of JavaScript are handled as references, while things like strings and numbers and booleans, those are values, so you cannot actually change the value. If you want a little bit more of an in-depth guide on how references versus values work, I have a full video on it. I'll link in the cards in the description for you. But this is a topic that's really, really important to React because almost every single React hook, which is like the way you make logic in React, relies on understanding how references versus values work. And if you don't understand that, you're going to be completely lost and run into bugs that are seemingly impossible to fix. On that same topic, you need to understand the difference between the double equal sign and the triple equal sign and just how type coercion works inside of JavaScript. Because again, that's something that React uses behind the scenes. And if you don't understand how that works, you're going to be really lost looking at the React code. Another really important thing to know is things like advanced logic. So short circuiting is one of the biggest examples that you're going to see in React because you're as you're writing out your HTML in React, you're going to all the time see short circuiting. So you're going to see like a Boolean variable followed by like the double ampersand symbol and then some other code and understanding how short circuiting works how different if evaluations are done, so like ands, ors, and so on, how those actually evaluate in order is super important because otherwise you're going to look at this React code, it's going to look completely foreign, but if you understand short circuiting, it's going to make complete sense. Another really crucial topic to understand, especially when writing your HTML in React, is all the different advanced array methods. So things such as map and filter and sort and so on, you're going to see those all over React code for changing state and writing out your HTML. So if you don't have a really in-depth understanding of exactly how those methods work, how they modify arrays and how they don't modify arrays, you're going to be completely lost again while writing out this React code. And kind of speaking of the topic of modifying and not modifying arrays, understanding immutability and the idea of things being able to be modified or not modified is really important because React has a lot of things based specifically on immutability. If you don't understand the concept of immutability, you're again going to be lost. Another thing you're going to see all the time inside of React is the idea of asynchronous code. A lot of things in React run asynchronously in the background. So understanding not only how asynchronous code works and what it is, but also how you can write your own using things like callbacks, promises, and async await is really important because that's just used all the time inside of React, especially with things like the use effect hook. Another thing that's really important to understand is just the general concepts of modules. 
I know this is probably something you're most likely familiar with if you've written any amount of code, but knowing how to install node modules, use and import them and use code like that and have modules inside of your own code, so breaking apart your code into different files that you import and export is really important to understand because React is a huge ecosystem and it's all about making small components that you import and export into your different files as you need. So if you don't understand how to use module systems inside of you know, JavaScript, you're not going to be able to use them inside of React. And they're not specific to React. I know a lot of people think that import and export is React only because they never learn it in JavaScript. So if you learn it in JavaScript first, it'll be so much easier to implement it in React. Also, kind of the last main thing you need to learn is just the general concepts related to ES6. ES6 introduced a ton of features like template string literals, destructuring the spread operator, and so on. And making sure you understand exactly how all those different features work is crucial because React uses pretty much every single ES6 feature. And if you don't know how they work, you may think that they're like a special React only thing when in reality, it's just plain JavaScript. And that's the important thing to know about React. Almost everything in React is just plain JavaScript. So if you understand JavaScript really well, when you go switch to learn React, it's going to be really easy because you only have to learn a few React specific things and the rest is just JavaScript, which you already know. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want a really in-depth guide of exactly what topics you need to learn, check out the table of contents for my JavaScript simplified course. You don't even need to buy the course. Just look through the table of contents. That's going to give you all the topics you need. But if you want a system that's going to walk you through and teach you all those concepts, I highly recommend my JavaScript simplified course, which will also be linked down in the description below. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.